technical uh, glitch. We have the nano tissue. We're just doing, doing a yeah. little test. We're just doing, so we've just released the loop and the loop. I pinned it, it's not working. Oh, oh, here yeah. we go. It's just being yeah. slow. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, so, the Chanel loop, thank you, Rachel, is... Um, Please just tell everyone, we've lost everything from the handbag icon, so we will be adding those back. Okay. Right so, we've had to refresh what we have uh, just featured, so don't worry. Keep an eye on the handbag icon. We will... Uh, Rachel is diligently adding the, the all pieces... Items back yeah, online. all the items that we have featured so far. But in the meantime, we can reveal the price of this beautiful item. So the price of this rare collectible loop necklace is 2,000, 2,200 uh, pounds, which is 2,700 US dollars. So the icon appeared over here. It is available to shop or to have a look at more information and pictures. And the necklace actually comes with its original box yes, it as well. Yes, does come with the original box. Now, like I was explaining before, the necklace that this comes from a collector who actually specifically looked for jewellery pieces to match her existing jewellery scarf, scarf um, collection by Chanel. So you can see this is an absolutely stunning um, vintage Chanel a scarf in this beautiful shiny satin, um, silk satin, and it features all these beautiful gripoir stones. I think it's a mixture of belts and chains um, designs. You can see the little sunburst designs. You can see um, the famous um, little uh, the diamond um, shape. Also, some pearls in there. It's so ornate and intricate. Uh, in terms of condition, it's once again it's a lovely condition scarf with no tear or wear. There's no makeup stains. And um, it still has its care tag attached. Yes, and is it signed Chanel? There should be a little. It's hundred percent silk, and it is signed like Chanel. Chanel. So we'll here. just show you the logo. It is signed Chanel, just there. Just look at this beautiful bright colors. The combination of colors is amazing. And oh, you know, every time I'm looking at vintage Chanel scarves, I'm just thinking, can you imagine just to see those jewelry in in in, in real life? Like, it would like, be. I would be like speechless from yes. It would be like you're looking at a stained glass window. I guess that's how Chanel wanted that Byzantine, almost, um, it's almost a religious experience. It's just so beautiful. Um, it's just absolutely stunning. And I just love these de de uh, detailed chains. And how do you actually come across any of these chains? We recognize some I, of them. I recognize uh, this detailing. So there is a necklace with uh, red and green uh, gripoir glass. So they, they do have this oval detailing yeah. as a separate necklace on one uh, chain. Yeah. I think I've seen some of these designs. Oh, it almost looks like a flower. Yes. Or a clover. Yeah. yeah. It is absolutely stunning. It looks like the uh, end of 80s uh, yeah. design. End of 80s, so early 90s, end of 80s. See, like that cost. 88, 89 because yeah. of the um, pattern yeah. used here. Because this, for example, and yeah. like an, another scarf we will be highlighting. Yeah. This is, I would say, 93 because the, um, the, heart. the heart is from the 93 collection, so it is more of the 90s scarf. Yeah. <laughs> Kristen. What? <laughs> She's like, what did I miss? <laughs> Uh, don't worry, Kristen. We've only just a feature uh, started feature. We had a bit of a tech issue, but there should be a handbag icon so you can see what we've got. Everything's so far. back in. The Everything is uh, back. Everything is back. Rachel to the rescue. Thank you. That's so fine. the price of this beautiful scarf is is three hundred thirty five pounds, which is four hundred eleven US dollars, and it's available right here. Yeah. Beautiful red color of the scarf. Yeah. Oh, it's just so nice looking at these very interesting pieces. Mm -hmm. And it's so nice because as vintage collectors, we very rarely see them all in one group. It's always like, we saw it here, we saw it there, you know but what? it's never I'm together. I'm thinking actually, because we know the value and how rare it is to come by certain pieces, but probably not all our viewers do know that. And to have them all together, 
it does take a lot of effort to hunt those items, to source them, and actually get them in here. Yeah. So what you see in one drop is actually a lot of hard work yes. to curate and find. So if you see them all in one place, it doesn't mean you can get them all in one place. Yes. It means that somebody spends yes. a lot of time sourcing them. Yeah, I was climbing up mountains. <laughs> Up sailing down buildings, <laughs> <laughs> running after collectors, yeah, running off items. like wrestling uh, people to the ground to get their bags off them. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. So, actually, talk about bags. Let's go on to this one. Let me do the Mademoiselle bag. Yes, you yeah. I love oh, this. Oh, yeah. And I know this is one of Rachel's ones. And the Sitar Sisters. Yes, this is absolutely stunning. This is the classic. 12 inch Mademoiselle uh, vertical stripe quilted uh, lambskin bag and this is the uh, 12 inch jumbo size and this is in a lovely condition um, if the lambskin is so soft I mean that's it's very shiny yeah, it's very very shiny it's very very soft and um, in a beautiful sort of black colorway and for its size and condition um, it's in really amazing condition like there's hardly anywhere to the corners and to the bottom of the bag and i think this sort of like upright jumbo size is actually the perfect size you can see it's um, for a day day-to-day -day wear it's yeah. the size is perfect what's that is it definitely black yes. it is black, black yeah okay. it might have a slight color loss I but actually like it. it looks almost chocolate brown yeah Actually, no, I think it's the lining. It does look black. It is a black bag. It is a black bag because you can So let's compare just to next to the... Um, this is brown. This is brown and you can clearly see, see the difference. The difference. This oh is god, brown. maybe I need my eyes testing. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not a tech person. Glasses. You can't have your eyes can't go wrong. No. <laughs> so, and... Um, so when it comes to Chanel quilting, there's three types of quilting that everyone's familiar with. There's the Matalasse uh, diamond quilting. There's also the chocolate bar cocoa quilting, which is square and rectangular. And then this is the Mademoiselle. So a Mademoiselle always has a vertical um, stitching uh, there's quilting. There's also chevron. There's also chevron as well. Yes, good point. Uh, chevron design. There's a fourth one as well. So it features the 24 karat um, gold gilded jumbo hardware, which we love a fully functioning turnstile lock. It's a single flat bag, has that gorgeous um, little oval lock here. It has a movable chain. It comes with its original dust bag. If I just pop that over. And it looks like it's been well cared for. Nice and clean inside. It has the original serial sticker in pack. And from looking at this, this is a size uh, three series, which is from- um, 94 to 96. Yeah, 94 to 96. And it also comes with its um, authenticity card as well. So um, pretty much comes with everything. Um, so yes, uh, one of the popular bags, one of our most requested bags in the uh, this year, the Mademoiselle bag. And um, in terms of how you'd wear it, I personally think it's better doubled up, wear two, sh two chains, but you could actually move the chain and wear it as a crossbody style bag. Uh, it's definitely enough length in there and tolerance for you to um, wear as a... Oops. So this is a slightly thicker chain comparing to the classic yes. black bag. So it can be a little bit uh, fiddly. Oops. Better. So, oh, I've just done it all back to front now. <laughs> but anyway, you can just see that you can actually wear it as a crossbody style bag. You can actually have that, because it's that, there we go. You can see that you, uh, sometimes you can actually wear it with the chain on the over, lock, uh, over flap as well. So uh, it features a little back pocket. Uh, so all in all, we would rate this, I would rate this a good sort of between a seven, seven and a half to eight out of 10. I'd say it's, it's a eight, eight and a half. Eight and a half, yeah. Because the corners, the, there is nowhere to the corners. There is no color transfer, no stains. The inside is also very nice and clean. The hardware is shiny. It has not been retouched or recolored. Yeah, it's all original. No tarnish, just light hairline scratches yeah. to the um, to the gold plated hardware and maybe some tiny press marks over here. But overall, the condition I would say is excellent. And this is nice and clean. And the leather does not feel sticky, super soft, buttery soft. 
and the inside is very clean yeah it's a single flap and it is 12 inches across known as the jumbo we'll just pop everything back before we reveal the price what it comes with oh you have refilled the price okay hey, it, no surprise then. yeah <laughs> it is four thousand nine hundred and fifty pounds it comes with its original serial sticker card dust bag and um, it can be yours all you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon just there to shop now to go with the mademoiselle we have the mini mademoiselle oh. you've just seen this right here yeah it's cute isn't that so cute one. so if you hold the jumbo it's like mother and daughter yes the jumbo is still my love yes so this is the jumbo and this is like the mini jumbo version so this is a slightly smaller size featuring the mademoiselle um, quilting as well that's such a lovely bag. So this one actually, I would say, looks like a dark brown, like in this lightning. Yeah. yeah. But it's a black bag. Yeah. Right? Even that thick chain, that's unusual for a delicate bag. Yeah. It's actually designed to be worn as a crossbody. Crossbody. Yeah. We have a look. So this is a small Mademoiselle bag. It does have, similar to the big one, a back pocket. 24 karat gold plated turn lock closure on the front and leather and uh, chain long shoulder strap. So let me show you the corners. I would say there is very minimal wear to the corners. Generally very good condition, as you can see in here and here. The bottom of the back is also nice and clean. Some press marks are here. And it opens to a one compartment. It's a single flap bag. It has a zipped pocket with satin um, lining. If you can see another pocket here and one big pocket on the inside. So serial sticker is still attached. It is too serious. So which is 91 to 94. 94. The inside is nice and clean. So it's, it's just measured. serial sticker only? Yes. Yeah, okay. So serial sticker only. Is it nine inches. And it is, yes, nine, nine inches. inches. This so is a nine, nine inch bag. It will come with a luxury promise authenticity card. So Antoinette wanted to know dimensions. So it's nine inches across, which is roughly 23 centimeters. And uh, vertically, it is eight inches, uh, 20 centimeters. And it can be worn as a long uh, shoulder bag like this but it is designed to be worn as a crossbody and it does sit very comfortably a little bit below the hip. Actually a very nice... It's actually a good length. As a, and I like that it's like not horizontal, it's a little bit... It's oh. like a, a square. I yeah, say. more square. Almost, almost a square bag. Yes. Very comfortable as a um, shoulder strap like this. And yes, as uh, Rachel noticed, the chain on this is slightly thicker compared to the... Um, classic flat bag so it is I think that this chain is similar to the um to I think the, the same spec yeah yes, same, same chain. spec oh, wow. yeah so let's have a look at the price of this bag very clean on the inside so the price is 4190 pounds which is 5143 US dollars and it is available to shop right here. So it is a smaller version of the Mademoiselle single flap bag. Right, let's move on. Let's go back to jewellery. I have to, I have to pick up this. <gasps> this is Karl Lagerfeld. And this is such a, look, it has a question mark, apostrophe. What did you call this? Bag? So this is from the Karl Lagerfeld's punct Punctuation. Punctuation. Punctuation yeah. <laughs> collection. So, um, Karl Lagerfeld was not only the designer at Chanel, he was also a designer for Fendi and for Chloe. And uh, he was also, he launched his uh, personal jewelry line, I think in 1984. So, at the same time, he joined Chanel. And uh, his personal jewelry line was actually the place where he was able to express himself. Ah. It is, it is quite 
the quantities are, are quite smaller comparing to Chanel. Yeah. So there is not much um, Lagerfeld so, jewelry, uh, vintage Lagerfeld jewelry. So on the was he um, at Chanel at this point when yes, he designed yes, it? Yes. Yes. So. It was. It was basically at the same time. He joined Chanel in 1983, and I think in 1984 he launched his own jewelry line. I absolutely and the love designs, this. His designs of his jewelry are. They are like all over the place. They had the garden line, like with the fruits and veggies. <laughs> yes, the brooches. Yeah. And, yes, like you, the the highly collectible pea necklace with the pea pods. No. Yes, the radishes, the uh, aubergines. Then I he, he had the flower line. <laughs> oh my gosh! You have no idea. Yeah. Like, have you ever come across those pieces? Yes, the I have one. Line. I have yeah. one in my collection. What do you Not, have? I have. I think it's the radish, it's the, the red thing. Yeah. The, the ah. radish thing. Or maybe it's a beetroot, I don't know. So, <laughs> some, some red thing, <laughs> vegetable. Uh, but this one is absolutely stunning. It's actually a, um, a punctuation, punctuation. like um, <laughs> uh, uh, Elena was explaining, but as a charm bracelet. So you've got this like full stop. Um, maybe these are apostrophes. Yes. Uh, you got the question mark. You no the apostrophes there. Sorry. And then you've got the K L. It almost looks like um, it's K on one side and it's signed K L on the back. So, so you got K L would be signed K L. K L. Yeah. And it's actually a really lovely piece. Lovely, like it's quite chunky. Chunky and very heavy in weight. Um, it's a sign of quality. It's beautifully made, um, and it has a little uh, lobster clasp. And you date this uh, 90s. 90s, okay, it's a 1990s. It's a 90s and it signed uh, KL at the edge there as well. And I just think that's an absolutely charming and fun piece. Charming, Winnie. Really. Yes, charming. charming. Ah. Actually, it could be worn as Should a necklace. Try it? Should we try it? Yes. Let, you know, me take now this you one. have to take this one. Yeah, yeah. I actually forgot I had this on. So, so I will, I will uh, describe the condition in the meanwhile. So condition is good. It does have some loss of... Um, gold plated gilding so it is a 24 karat gold plated metal um a matte metal it does have some loss um, on some of the signs like in here but overall the condition is good the chain itself is in very good condition it's just where um the back side of the items has some wear so we're gonna see using our luxury promise chains we are going to convert this bracelet into, we think it's possible, into a necklace. Oh, it's going to work. It's going to work. Oh my gosh. Like the longer one. <gasps> oh, that's cool. That is so cool. So um, it's a bit long, um, if you don't mind it a little bit longer. But I just think, let me just close the caption so you can just see. Look, you can wear that easily as a necklace with all the charms. And if you want to do, you can actually shorten it slightly. And that just oh, it looks, looks amazing. amazing. A what a fun I piece. I actually prefer it as a necklace. It is fun as a necklace. When I held it up like that, I was like, I would wear this as a necklace. Yes. So yes. Uh, so lots and lots of fun ways of wearing this piece. So Rachel, when you're ready, show us the price. Show us the price. Yeah, give me the price of this. Mm -hmm. It is only three hundred and fifty pounds, oh, wow. which is four hundred and twenty nine US dollars. Um, how collectible is Karl Lagerfeld in terms of resale and so, prices? His his jewelry is for collectors. Yeah. So if you don't know, if you're like a novice, then yeah. probably not something you would look to buy mm -hmm. uh, but as a collector you are looking for those items some of his items are selling like for 1000 pounds maybe a little bit more yeah and also since he passed away and this jewelry is no longer produced yeah so the prices have gone up I know he still has like there is still Carla like label. Yeah. Um, and but these are way more these special are vintage yeah. ones and they are they were produced in less like less, less quantities quantity. making them less on the market to yes. buy so there you go this is 350 pounds which is 429 us dollars all you need to do is just tap oh, look daniel has a uh, kl vintage earrings oh cool i also have a pair of vintage earrings 
with the pearl and a large hoop which say Lagerfeld. And I was convinced by another collector, you know who I'm talking about, uh -huh. not to sell them. I think it was like probably a year and a half ago, she told me just take them offline, don't sell them. And actually, I am so glad I did. Mm. Yeah, amazing. Elena actually used to have her own uh, vintage resale business and very well known um, specifically for other collectors. But we got her to I was going to say us. before you stole her. <laughs> before, before they stole, stole her. her. <laughs> so that is a Karl Lagerfeld uh, piece. I want to show another piece. I love you this. Love this. this for me is uh, how you like the loop. I love these earrings. To me, these are absolutely stunning. I love YSL jewellery. YSL jewellery is still... Um, I think still affordable. You can have those. some of the bits and pieces there still, but the the prices of some they of are the going up though. It's insane. Incre it is insane. I've been watching and they are going up. But these, how stunning are these? So, um, what is the stone of this one here? So I think it's like a resin because if you touch it, it's not an actual stone. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Otherwise, it would be like extremely heavy. heavy. Yeah, yeah. But uh, this is a glass. Glass cabochon on the top. So would that be quick pour? No, I don't think no. it's No, okay. It's like, I think it's just a glass cabochon. And I love this. The crystal detailing, yes, it's so nice. I didn't notice it was crystal detailing until I actually saw it in, in person. Um, they're clip-on backing. They're so and nice. they are signed YSL. You can see the logo on the back. And let me just put them on. I just think, they, they're, they're, to me, they're very Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> vibe to it because um, it's a very statement piece. Imagine just wearing a little cocktail dress and these earrings and your hair swept up. Look how stunning. Oh, wow, that is these so beautiful. beautiful. I, I so actually beautiful. like this with a long uh, flowing dress. dress. Yes. They would be like an evening if you go in somewhere to have they are. drinks we, or in a restaurant. They are very comfortable. They are. They are. They're really, I thought they would be really heavy but yeah, there is Probably a nice because how they're constructed. Yeah, there is a nice weight to it, but it doesn't feel like they're pulling on my earlobes, and I just think they're beautiful. Absolutely, our oh, pretty's going. I love it, love it. And I think uh, with uh, the uh, if similar around jewelry, so the bigger and bolder, larger uh, pieces of jewelry are were, were designed as a catwalk jewelry as a. So do you think uh, these would have been sort of um, for the runway? I, on point? I didn't find any like direct reference to the runway, but normally how they are constructed that the bigger jewelry would yeah. go for the runway. Yeah. So it is probably. I love this color blue. It's a beautiful, and I like the way that the uh, the resin is not symmetrical. Yes, yes. Which gives it, it a more of a natural flair to it, as if you were to find an agate stone. No two stones are ever the same. And I just think they're absolutely beautiful. Condition-wise, they're excellent. excellent. Condition. They are absolutely excellent. Uh, they would not look like they're almost 40 years old. And Yves Laurent introduced similar jewellery in, in their last collection oh. and current collection. They're actually going bold, bold. Yeah. and chunky. And what I always say, like when you're comparing, for example, prices of vintage jewellery, uh, if it's a little bit too expensive or not always go to the website and, and look at the current, current collection piece, yeah. and you will see that you will not buy current collection for the price of vintage jewelry because mostly current collection would be priced higher and the quality would be different yes because exactly. it's mass produced at the moment yeah so uh what date would you say these 80s. are it's an 80 so yeah because well, of the back clip backing oh because the way it's signed that big bold ysl yes. That's how we date them, just there. And the clip itself. So the, the 90s pieces, they have this different type of clip and also they have YSL on the clip. Ah, uh, I see. I see. This one looks like a big tongue. So it's yes. got a wider base. So these are typical of 80s style uh, clips. So the price of these beautiful... Price. Da, 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 da. I think that's an incredible price. It is. £495, highly collectible. I have seen these go for £200 more on other websites. Uh, £495, which is 607 US dollars. If you want to shop these piece, all you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon just there. So. And to go with this, oh, yes. we have another YSL piece, 
which is also very interesting in terms of how it is crafted. Is it with by the, It is. Oh, this is actually I from the choir. It is from a collector. Yes. It is from. Oh a collector. yeah yeah yes. yeah yeah. So uh, this brush has a symmetrical design, but it is a little bit like wider, featuring um, heart shaped crystals on the edge and round like oval ones uh, different sizes of oval ones in the middle so it does have baguette stones here as well so i love how it is constructed and i love this multicolored crystals they do remind me of the watermelon crystals used by Elsa Schiaparelli oh, on her yeah. jewelry so this is quite an unusual color combination um for ysl uh, it is, I think, it's an 80s, 90s piece, somewhere in the yeah. middle, because how it is signed YSL Let's see on YSL. one metal plug. Oh, yes. yeah. But the clip closure is in very nice working condition. There is no tarnish on the back, and the crystals are all intact and in a very good condition. Actually, they would go well together, right? Yeah. Let me just bring up those. It's not Actually, how it's so far I want to show, like, everything is very mermaid vibes. Mm, yeah. Like, yeah. In the middle of a shirt. In the middle of the shirt. Like, just look. You know when you fasten it here? Yeah. yeah. That would look so good. That mm -hmm. would look so chic. And okay. how they sparkle. And this yeah. is how it looks together. <gasps> how? Let's bring and you can never go wrong with the heart-shaped design. Just look how it plays, right? Oh. Just absolutely. What, don't we just love sparkly things? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we do. <laughs> like the magpie. Yeah. Like the this magpie. This is, this is... Yes, that's amazing. Let's have a look at the price of this item. Just look how beautiful it is. Yeah, on the dress. that looks stunning on and a white shirt or a black shirt. It does change. Yeah, yeah. I think sure. it's hard uh, shape. They do yeah. change color a little bit depending on on the yeah on the clothes. <gasps> Maybe I'll get that giant Lacroix heart brooch and wear it at the top of my white shirt. Oh, yeah! <laughs> have you got a vintage uh, jewellery piece yet, Rachel? No. <gasps> Rachel, you have been watching you how many of our shows? It's you need to invest in one. Now, yeah. You know, when, every, every time I pull out Givenchy, she's like, oh, I want Givenchy. Now I'm pulling Lacroix. Oh, oh I want Lacroix. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. the price? Yes, I love this on Vinny's dress. That looks so good. Uh, the price of this brush is 485 uh, pounds, which is 595 US dollars, and the icon appeared over here as well. Oh, it's just so pretty. I even like the way the back is finished. You can see, mm. like, it's how just, shiny, uh, yeah, how nice shiny, and like the care, even behind there is still some engraved markings that make it very decorative. Mm -hmm. So, that's lovely. Now, let's go back to a classic, Chanel. Oh. And one when it comes to <gasps> sunburst, yes. Yeah, so and these pieces are this one's actually really well priced. So um, oh somebody God. has to grab this. Do you need the scoop for this one? No, I'm just okay. being awesome. Yeah. So it comes with its original. Uh, <laughs> Elena is very convincing. <laughs> she oh, is. Yes. yes. I want everything you talk about. I want to buy. <laughs> oh, well, me too. Yes. Because I really love those items, and yeah. I think there is not only a beautiful story behind them but the piece of history yeah which makes them so special and also the pieces are so unique you know that no one else will have those pieces yes. makes it just makes it that special one of a kind so it comes with the original box and of course it is everyone's favorite the chanel uh, sunburst brooch funny fact yes they what? introduced the sunburst uh necklace in metier d'art collection this season really like this Yes, have they changed similar. it a, a little bit it's not 24 karat gold plated maybe uh they, it has like a little bit round yeah i think uh, around the but uh, it still CC has that line. little like rays yes. uh the sun rays and it has that cc logo in the middle and it is um it's got an engraved background it, it has the uh, chanel over stamping these are the 1980s bits there is some light wear some tarnish to the actual pin but the pin itself is still very very strong and secure and you can wear this uh definitely pinned up to uh, any blouse blouse or blazer uh, uh i think this will look 
This, I love the size of this bra. Yeah, you could actually put this. If you want to use this clip, I'm afraid, because it's on the diagonal, so if you go like that, the CC looks a bit funny. But I think, I like the idea, guys, of you guys can talk about wearing a shirt and having mm -hmm. it high up on your shot, on your collar oh, looks so quite cool. um, chic. And you can, I think you can pin it as well. To, where is the chain? The chain? Yes. I put it down somewhere. Okay, so you can pin it also to the chain. Yeah, but it would be like this though, because it's... Oh, it is, yes. Yeah. yeah. If, oh, so naive, if it'd been designed more uh, vertical I in know that this. way. Yeah. Uh, when you get a chance, would you please wear the vertical single flap? I was late today, so sorry I missed it. No problem. I will do that in a moment. So Which we'll one? reveal the price. Well, I think it's this one. We will show. Is it. it this one, the smaller one, or the bigger one, or both, Sarah? Mm -hmm. Just let us know. Yeah. I could definitely um, uh, model both. Model both. Actually, the jewellery looks so beautiful. I'm just looking at the little icons. It just looks so chic. Mm -hmm. So this sunburst. It's only four hundred and ninety five pounds, oh, yeah. which is six hundred and seven US dollars if you want to shop this. I think this is gonna go very quickly. It comes I with its original uh brooch. Uh if you it comes with the original box, it is just that. So we'll quickly demonstrate the um This is mine now. So this is the bigger one, Sarah. This is uh with the long chain and you can definitely wear it cross body style, but I think the size is a bit um probably a bit big. Or cumbersome it depends on your your how you want to wear it i actually prefer it if i loop up the chain to wear it as a shoulder, shoulder bag. bag to me that feels very comfortable um oh something i saw but i'm not too sure so no from up here <laughs> so uh this is uh yeah so this is the shoulder bag Sarah, uh, in terms of uh, condition, just very quickly, we rated it a good eight, eight and a half out of 10. Lambskin leather with the original 24 karat gold gilding. The corners are excellent. It's just really well looked after. There's no major scuffing or damage. Yes, uh, it is 30 centimeters across. That's correct. 12 inches is roughly 30 centimeters. And it has that little, that iconic gold CC logo. Uh, just light, uh, you can see just hairline scratches to the hardware. It is a three series, so it's from 94 to 96. Comes with a serial sticker, card and dust, dust bag. bag. And um, just show you the back. It's all original condition with no um, colour retouching or bag spa, so it's all original. So, yes. If you want to shop it, all you need to do is just tap on that icon. That's it. Yes, it comes with the card. I'll quickly show you. That is the dust bag, the original soft cotton dust bag. If you hold that. Yes. And then it also comes with. Have we just been paparazzi? Yes, I think. Somebody <laughs> took pictures of us doing the live we show. <laughs> um, oh. And it comes with the card. The card. There you go. And stickers. On and the, the serial sticker is intact. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, trying to buy the pearl scarf, not adding to bag. Has it try sold? Refreshing maybe. maybe try refreshing the page, Marilyn. Um, it is still available. Yeah. So um, just try one more time. Oh, it's turned itself back to draft. That's odd. It does it quite okay. ready. <laughs> Tell them it should be ready now. Just it refresh. should be ready now. So refresh the page. Tag um, the scarf should be available for you to purchase. The big car. Does it come with card? Yes, it comes with a card. Oh, actually, that means we need a different one. Okay. Shall we do this one? I love this one. Tell me, you brought that in, so tell us the story behind this bag. So, this is a very special bag. It is incredible. I know the white color is quite pop popular mm. uh, in vintage Chanel bags. So, this is crafted from a, a uh, caviar leather, matte gold CC logo, which is actually it's it's not the closure it's like a fake closure mm -hmm. so the bag itself has a very handy back pocket on the other side but it is actually a magnetic closure in here so it closes with magnets oh on that's the top. so clever i like it's that is wood and the best part of it is the combination of real wood with the uh, caviar leather yeah 
so unusual. It is very unusual bag, and I'd say because of how it is crafted and the style, it is quite rare to come by. So I would say it is like a collectible bag. Mm -hmm. Matte gold finish hardware, white leather in here as well, and the inside is also crafted from leather. But it is a lambskin leather, so the inside is nice. It does have some signs of wear and maybe a little bit darkening on the color, but there are no pen marks, no makeup, so I would say the inside is very nice and clean. It has authenticity card as well, so it is 8 series. 8 series, which, which will is be early uh, notice, yeah, 2000, so 2003 to 2004. Yeah, 2003 to 2004. So it has one zipped pocket over here and then another one slit pocket in here. So I think the serial sticker is also attached. Yes, yes it yeah. is attached as well. The so serial sticker is attached. So it is a very beautiful bag. I'd say it's a summer, summary bag, yeah. right? Of how it is crafted with the wood detailing. And there is no color transfer on the front or on the bag. Let yeah. me show you the corners. So I'd say in terms of condition, it is a very good condition. Maybe a seven. Yeah, a good seven. There is some light wear to the corners. It has yes, been used especially in here. But considering it's a white caviar skin, it's actually it's, very clean. It is very clean. Yeah. It has no color transfer. And because it's um, a uh, caviar leather, which is the most durable leather uh, with Chanel bags, it is actually aged very well. Very well, so it's yeah. 20 20 years, yeah. um, so 19 years. Yeah. So I'd say for a 19 year old bag, it is in a very, very good condition. Yes. Uh, we've got Natalie Modish Modishi, who's one of my favorite Instagrammers, my favorite really? influencer, yes. I feel honored that you're watching my show. Oh. And she has an incredible vintage collection. Really? Yeah, so we have a lot of collectors tonight, so maybe we're on a good thing. We've got lots of, um, I know Pretty has the most amazing vintage collection as well. So, uh, tag we'll put, us, guys. Yes, tag, tag us, us, please. I would love to see <laughs> yes. all your collections. And I, we do feel honored that any true collectors are watching this show, yes, which because means that we've curated it right and they do appreciate, yes, what we, what we have, yeah, in exactly. The job. Yeah. So, this bag is designed to be worn cross body or over a hand like this. Sorry, not cross body over the shoulder or over the hand as, as, as like this. So, the chain is not movable. So you cannot adjust it. I just love, I've never seen a wooden panel one. I just, to me, the wood, I just love it. You know the, um, what's it called? The, the, the wooden bag. The oh, Chanel the wicker. One. The, not the, not the, the picnic. Wicker. The picnic bag. Is it the same wood? Similar, isn't it? It looks similar. So yeah. there is somewhere to the wood. I should mention this. Yes, as you can see. But it's very minimal. But there is somewhere to the wood. Oh, because maybe one day we'll get that. The picnic, Chanel oh, picnic, the picnic bag. is a dream. So maybe because of the picnic, I think all the combinations with wood are quite interesting. Yes. Because this is not something you see very often. No, no. So let's have a look at the price. For this really true collector's piece. So it's £3,800, which is US dollars And the icon will appear in a second. For some reason. In two seconds. In oh. three seconds, <laughs> in a few moments, it will appear over here on the right side. So this bag is available to shop. Can you just open up the bag? I just yes. want to show if there's notice. Oh, they haven't got it here. All right. Because I'm just seeing the, the very typical of these button closures. That to be on the front, run, you Yeah, yeah. yeah you it's because it. it has a magnetic closure, Yeah, of I course. Think. Yeah, that's why it's covered up. It is. Yeah. But it is, it, is, it is very secure, so it closes very securely. Oh, pretty. And Natalie is saying they always love watching us because they learn something new. Oh, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. We also, we have a great community uh, of collectors who watch the show and they're always giving us information. So yes. a thing about collecting is you always learn information. And I feel like that's why I love what I do. Because every day I learn Learned something new. And we can exchange the experience. Exactly. And exchange and information. Knowledge, yes. Yes. So another really fun bag is a camera bag with a side tassel, but in suede. This is very, very unusual. And not just any old suede. It's actually this beautiful, almost like um, an elephant grey uh, suede. 
uh, with a CC logo. It has a beautiful side tassel. It has very much Coachella, uh, a, a fringe, it's Glastonbury right now, sort of festival vibe, uh, which is in lovely condition. Um, just very, very unusual. We very rarely get suede um, vintage Chanel bags in. And I just love this uh, beautiful gray colorway. It has a magnetic closure on the front pocket. And um, it, it has this beautiful uh, little tassel detail here. And along the back, it's got this lovely matelassé quilting and it's very, very soft to touch as well. In terms of corners, it is in good condition. There is obviously some signs of wear, it has been used before, but that is the part of the beauty of suede. Um, it has, it's designed to look vintage and it has that natural distressed look to it. But inside, the bag is lined in black and it has two pockets. You've got a little pouch pocket here and we've also got an internal pocket here as well. And it comes with, it is a three series again. It's got its original series sticker just there. And it comes with its authenticity card as well. Uh, so three series from 94 to 96. And in terms of sizing, it's actually a very big... Um, it is a spacious bag. Very spacious bag. I would say this is a good 12 inches across. Let me measure. Or maybe 10 inches. So we could show you this bag. Maybe a little bit more than yeah. 10. Yeah, it's 11. It's 11 inches, so... 20, 20, around 28 centimetres. 28 centimetres. I love the leather strap detailing and the way it's cinched at the top. You know what I like about this bag? Yeah. Is that despite that it is suede and this is like a soft fabric, it is very stru structured bag. Very, yeah. So it does keep its shape mm. and it's, it's not slouchy. No. And, um, and it's worn a crossbody style and it's actually the perfect drop. I'm about five foot three. And to me, that feels very comfortable on me. Uh, you could wear it as a shoulder bag as well. Um, in terms of size, you can't really put a laptop in it. It's probably too small. But definitely an iPad a or a book Kindle, as well. a book, yes, makeup bag, all the you know, daily essentials that you need to um, carry every day. So, is the item maybe, has it all the channels switched on? Yep. Oh. I've tried adding it to my cart and it's working. So oh, okay. Maybe refresh your can. page, Marilyn. Or uh, sometimes it's stuck in the um, cache. Yeah. yeah. So, the bag is available to shop. I'll just show you the condition one more time. It is £2,800, which is $3,437 US dollars. If you're wanting to purchase this item, all you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon just there. Very beautiful. Very bag. nice bag. So I'll put that away. You choose something. I choose something. Yeah. I'll well, that. I can finally go for this beautiful scarf. Yes, and we'll do the heart. And we'll do the heart. Yeah. So heart shape. Um, have always been in fashion. This is not something reinvented right now, but right now they're very, very trendy as well. So we have this actually with the camellias. My, well, this yeah. is my, I think, one of my favorite scarves oh, I've seen today so because it not only has the jewelry, it has the camellia flower, yeah. which is so iconic for the history of Coco Chanel. And also, this is the centerpiece of um, her favorite um, perfumes. So this scarf is also crafted from, I think, 100% silk. It is. So the care tag is still attached in here. As we mentioned with the other scarves, the condition is just excellent. Yeah. As you can see, it is the same previous collector as before. So no she really stains, took care of all no her scarves. Makeup. No. no odor, nothing. nothing. So it's in yeah. very good condition. And as you can see, it does feature like the beige, it's not grayish, no? It's like yeah, beige, beige. beige body and um, it has the heart shaped, um, is it the necklace? Yeah, it necklace. looks like a necklace. Heart shaped necklace and the I'm sure flower. you have seen these heart shaped necklaces we featured before on previous shows. I just think the color combination is it's so very pretty and very elegant like you were saying. 
with the creams and the greens and this beautiful get a beige color and highlighted by this bright gold and this is silk crepe uh, so it's not as shiny as satin but it's definitely a nice thicker uh, silk so it's very lightweight as well. It's not. It's nice to touch. Yeah. It's very nice. Very, it's like yeah. a little bit cooling, I would say. Yes. Yeah. And uh, because of the jewelry pattern, I'm thinking this is like early '90s because they had similar similar necklace in '93 collection. So probably early '90s scarf to match this mm -hmm. collection. So we had this necklace, right? Yes, we I did. Think we sold it. Yeah, yeah. It was a big heart necklace, it, didn't it? And like we this. loved it. Yeah. We loved this necklace. It was so I think it was when you first joined you kept going, I love this piece. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I love all the pieces. Like, I love this. I love this. Yeah, I should keep everything. So the condition is excellent. The design it's very beautiful. If you don't like, for example, if the vibrant colours are not for you and you would prefer to go for something more um pastel so this is this is definitely the color palette for you because because it does have the beige quite neutral background mm -hmm. with the um white camellia flowers and also the green and uh, gold yellow detailing so alex is asking uh the scarf is so big are these bigger than the hermes scarf? no this no. is a 90 centimeter square this so is hermes a standard, standard scarf 90. yeah standard uh 90 by 90 which is roughly 35 inches across square. It is a standard 90 centimeters. Yeah. So this scarf is signed Chanel, which will show you the logo, printed in the corner. And like Elena was explaining, it has its original sewing labels. So, yeah. Let's have a look at the price. It's good to know it seems so big on the screen. I think Elaine is very petite. I'm, um, yeah. <laughs> it's a good standard. Yeah, <laughs> most square scarves are usually 90 by 90. So it the, is a standard yeah. square. So, so 350 pounds is the price for this scarf, which is 429 US dollars. The icon appeared over here, so you can have a look at more images and read the description. And to go with this scarf, we do have, what oh, do we have? I think something has sold. Okay. It has, but my phone couldn't retrieve it. Sorry, I'm just trying to put yeah. something in the back end. I'll okay. So to go with this scarf, we, we have, have, can you see the recognize the hearts in the scarf? We have a beautiful Chanel pendant. Uh, this is another fun, whimsical design featuring the CC uh, logo with a mirror. It's got a really function, a working mirror and, um, and, ah, oh, Marilyn, did you manage to check out? Because I think the, the pearl the, scarf the pearl has pearl sold. sold. Um, this beautiful necklace That's actually sold. features a really um, lovely sort of roll up. It's almost like plaited. It's like, what? It's like twisted. Twisted, into yeah. Twisted. It's actually not a flat chain, but actually a rounded chain. So it's a lot of work in this single train, chain, isn't it? Yes. It is beautiful. It's uh, originally uh, would be gilded in 24 karat gold uh, gilding on a silver metal base. Uh, it is signed Chanel and it is from the 95 or 96. Have a look. It says 95. This is 95 spring collection. Why is it here, we really? Why? <laughs> I don't know. We love 95 spring collection. <laughs> I do it to talk to you, Elena, <laughs> on a Monday. Uh, so it is a hook and eye closure. And I love these particular pieces where the, um, the, 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 the you know, they've gone on to um, feature CC logos on the open end as well. I think one of the scars has just sold. This one. Oh, oh, thank you. So this is a nice and long chain. Congratulations on the camellia and heart scarf. Um, this can be worn as a long necklace. As it's a very long chain, you can also wear it as a doubled up as a, um, a choker style as well. Look how elegant and quite cool this piece is. And another way you can wear this, because it's a very long chain, you could wear this as a belt. As a belt, very I easily. See you very well yeah. Then. Look, cute. It's, it's very cute. beautiful. Very cute, and right? It's still, it has a mirror, right? Yeah. So the way that I think it's very clever, the way they have done the mirror, 
wait, the Chanel has done the mirror, is that the mirror is actually facing outwards, which means you can apply lipstick. So if you are out and about and you really need a mirror, I've just seen my lips, I need to apply some lipstick. You right don't now. need a mirror, you just need the <laughs> Chanel necklace. Yeah. So if you're out and about and you're like, okay, let me just quickly put some mirror on, and uh, uh, you can just go like this and put lipstick on that way. So a really, really lovely and fun piece. So the price of this very versatile piece is £2,200, which is 2700 US dollars. Uh, if you want this piece, all you need to do is tap on the above icon just there. And remember, all your duties and taxes are also included during this live show. And the mirror has no crack or wear. And the gold gilding is excellent with no chipping. Yes. <laughs> right. So this is the last combo. Yes, so the last combination. Seems like the scarves are doing really well this evening. The last combo we have also in a very beautiful navy blue look how wow look how strong oh, wow the colorway is and you know they have this this brush you do know they have this brush yes you recognize it yes yeah i really want this brush <laughs> like i want it for myself exactly this brush Oh my God, what, what collection is it from? It's some mid 90s. I yeah. Don't why it's we had it in the store before. Like 96 maybe? Something like that, yeah. Yes. So just look at this beautiful scarf. It is also crafted in 100% silk, as you can see here. So the care label is still intact. Lovely, beautiful hand um, rolled herm in here. And it is a dark navy blue square oh, wow. color uh, with bright yellow jewelry design and it comes with its original sleeve as oh, well which oh, is it does. Very, oh, yeah wow. very unusual it's the only scarf that actually came with I its have original never sleeve, seen this sleeve yeah so you fold it oh. up and you put it inside this so. would be actually a nice gift yeah it for is. the chanel collector or anybody who's into oh, scarves I've never seen the, the, the yeah so this one will come with its original sleeve oh. Oh. <laughs> And not only it has original packaging, the color is stunning. So the condition, as we mentioned before, is excellent. There are no pulled threads, no stains from makeup or um, no uh, perfume odor. And it is signed Chanel over here. So I do love this, actually this jewelry pattern, which do feature interlocking CC brush design, as you can see in here. And the iconic sun, where is it? The sun design. I can only see yeah. from this so in here. Yes, yeah, the sun, sun design, brush design. And let's have a look at the price because with this scarf, we do have what? something that is matching to this piece. Matching to this piece. It's going to yeah. be this brooch that you love. <gasps> what? It's the brooch. Yes, it's not this one. No, we don't no. have this one. No, but we have we one know. within the design. Yes, about. within the design. Ooh. So the price of the scarf is three hundred eighty-five pounds, which is four hundred seventy-two US dollars. The icon appeared over here, and we will now show. So can you see this particular CC design here? Don't. We have comes with its original box as well. Just look. <gasps> The actual Magic. matching. Let me do like this. Yeah. Duh. One, two, three. Ta-da! <laughs> the actual matching brooch to this. Isn't that just absolutely uh, That's, beautiful? That is this is a lovely sort of like uh, arabesque style, uh, style CC brooch. And you can you can see there's intricate detailing. So it's almost like little fine thread work. Very filigree design here. And it has a pin backing. Uh, it is uh, an oval Chanel stamping, so this is a 1980s piece, and this one's in excellent condition, comes with its original box, there's no tarnish, which will show everyone on Instagram, there's no tarnish, there is no um, uh, wear or chipping, and you can just see the design, the little um, sort of engraved um, arabesque design within the scarf as well, so that's the design just there. 
So really nice um, sort of a, a matching piece. In terms of size, this is a good sort of two and a half, two inches. So it's like three and a half centimeters. Yeah, uh, uh, quite a good um, size. Let me just put the comments down so you can just see to scale what it looks like on me here. So I think this is a very good standard size. It looks great against a blazer or your favorite cardigan or dress. You could, uh, could we put this on? Uh, because it's on the diagonal, it's probably going to be difficult to wear this with our little um, LP char um, necklace, uh, detachable necklace ch uh, chains. Uh, but it will look quite nice high up on a shirt. Look great on the hat. Did you chewed on stay yourself in the head? No. <laughs> so, uh, let me just take a comment. So, again, a lovely piece. It and is an 80s piece. 1980s piece. And, and the price of this one with its original box is £695, which is $853 US dollars. All you need to do is just tap on that icon just there. So I'll show it a little closer. Shall we flip the screen? Maybe? Yeah. So in the meantime, Dan asked if there is anywhere to the scarf. No, the scarf no. is in pristine condition. There are no pulled threads, no wear, no makeup stains. Mm hmm Yeah, and the design. Oh, this this faux camera is really good. Isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Look how intricate the design is. And hope that helps, Christine. And you can see the oval plaque in there as well. So, okay, let's move on. Shall we do? Yes. yes. I love that I might be using these afterwards. Okay, so this actually this pair, I love this pair. This is a very collectible pair. Uh, it is from a '93 spring collection. It does feature the tortoise shell clover-like uh, uh, motif, and uh, the central. It's like also similar to the clover-like. Um, intertwined detailing in here with the CC logo in the middle. It, to me, it looks quite Celtic mm -hmm. in design. It does. Yeah. Let me just take mine off to try. Actually, we need you will try. Yeah, because yeah, you I've have got, already yeah. one off. I've almost got to drink more there. Yeah. Just look how beautiful it is. So this pair is actually very collectible. There is one. Um, how would I say a catalog created for the uh, Asian market mm -hmm. where they highlighted all the uh, the most important designs of Chanel and this pair is also in there mm. uh, and the price of this pair is amazing because it retails almost one thousand pounds higher Wow than we are selling it that is incredible this is a very beautiful piece let me do a flip the screen flip really the you screen. need to really see how uh, amazingly it's co constructed you can see that tortoiseshell this is resin right this it is an acrylic is resin, resin. Right. and like um the you can see the uh, it's a shamrock um base but you can see here it's got a very celtic or byzantine um detail which is very close to chanel's heart and and it is uh Sorry. from 95 93 uh, 93 spring collection oh actually no it is 93 yeah is it and it has a clip-on no, backing 90. as well. It's 95. 95? It depends on what angle you're looking. Yes, it's 95. 95. 95. Ah, 95 collection. Again? Yeah. Yes. Our favourite. Can you show the Chanel belt next, please? Yes, we will. Oh, do we have a belt? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. The other navy scarf has sold. Oh, wow, oh, wow the one with the box. That's, that's, that's a great one. Thank you so much. So all our scarves have <laughs> sold out. That is incredible. We have one more. Oh yeah, there's a, a red grip oh. one that needs a home. And we'll, sh and we'll show the Chanel belt next. Yeah. So, so this pair is available for how much? For £1,700, which is 2,086 US, US dollars. dollars. Daikon appeared over here and it is below the market. I've seen this for 2,800, close to £3,000. Wow. So you hear it from us. We're the true collectors. We're offering it a thousand pounds under resale. So if you are a collector, you'll appreciate the important design value 
of this piece at only £1,700, which includes your customs and duties if you're shopping outside the UK. And to shop, all you need to do is just tap on the icon just there. Let's do the belt. The belt, okay. So someone spotted a belt. This is a very nice belt. So this is a slightly more modern piece. It's a very good practical piece. It has a thick calf leather strap. And it has a, a matte latte design with a diamond quilting in almost champagne gold. Uh, this, is that black or brown? It oh. is black. Black, okay. Yes. So it's champagne gold with a black leather base. Nikki says she bought the Chanel scarf. Oh, fantastic. Yay, so uh, it is... Uh, uh 09 uh, from the 09 2009 collection it is a 90 size 90 or 36 inch waist made in italy yeah let me try this let me try this one for you okay so oh yeah sure wow so as we mentioned uh the size is 36 inches or 90 centimeters it does uh, have all stamps on the other side it is from the 2009 fall collection it is signed chanel on the inside and let me just quickly try this so actually 90 centimeter is normally what i see with um, vintage uh, chanel belt is 85 75 but 90 is actually a very good size let me just try to sorry I'm kind of so let me do it like this so it does have it is so cute, it is so cute. oh wow I like it yeah. let me just close the um anymore yes we do have more jewelry we have more we have Dior earrings we have Givenchy necklace we have more uh like your felt clips let me just close the comments to show you how the belt looks just look how stunning it is I would actually wear it over the shirt because I think like a white shirt because it looks amazing and it does highlight the waist and um, it is adjustable so it does have this closures in here like that and it's plenty of room actually to to close the belt depending on what size you are let me just do this so um I'd say 90 is probably the biggest, the biggest um, size, but I actually can close it on the first um, size as well. So I'm now trying it as a smaller size on the first, on the first holes, but uh, there is room for more and I'm size 12, uh, UK size 12, and I think I'm 10 US. So this is the size and it is signed on the inside in here 2009 fall collection features the uh, interlocking cc uh, buckle in champagne color um does have some minimal wear in here but it's very minimal and barely visible so let's have a look at the price well it's not ready to go yet so it's we not can ready to show go. the price but Let's show the price, but the icon of, yes, the icon will appear a little bit later. So the price is one thousand two hundred uh, pounds, which is one thousand four hundred seventy-three US dollars. The icon will appear a little later, but in the meanwhile, this is the belt. Overall, I'd say good condition. The inside is also nice. So um, let me show you. Let me show you Dior clips. So um, when I was doing my uh, jewelry shows, um, many of you asked to see more, it should be live. Okay. more Dior clips. So now I will show you. We have two, two pairs. Sorry, I had some chocolate. <laughs> really? really? That's why it took so long. I had to have a snack. I was really hungry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did you bring us any? Did you bring us any? Got some. I'll bring you some. All right. I'll be right back. <laughs> like I was. I had a burger. Like I was so hungry. I had a burger. Yeah. Oh, it's I a joke. Soup. I had nothing. No. I'm just having water. So All right, let's, let's start in this belt. As well. So the belt is pinned. Uh, the size is thirty. Uh, 
36 inches or 90 centimeters. Oh my so God. let's do this. So these are Christian Dior clips. I will take the second one. Uh, someone said, what's the size on the Chanel belt? Uh, 90, 90 centimeters, 36 inches. Yeah. So I love these clips because they come in silver. So they do have this like no detailing, which uh, I find symbolize like CD logo. This is a quite popular design by um, Christian Dior. It was produced in, it signed Christian Dior Germany. So it was produced in uh, 1980s because until the end of 1980s, Christian Dior produced uh, its jewelry in Germany by Henkel and Grosset. So this is how the clip looks. I honestly, I love these clips. That looks good. Hello, the belt. Yeah. Not a Japanese thing. Yeah, it's a cool yeah, belt. Yeah, it's a really nice. I've I tried, tried it as well. Yeah. And the and shirt and trousers really, look really nice. Yeah. yeah. I think like big statement belts. It's a good uh, way on of the cinching. White, on the white yeah. shirt, oversized. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. So while Winnie is eating chocolate and trying belts. <laughs> Yeah, somebody has to work. <laughs> somebody has to work. No chocolate for me. So these are the uh, Christian Dior clips I'm trying right now. So they are crafted love from the silver colored metal. And they do have uh, crystal detailing all over the top. So th I, I actually find that these clips are... You can dress them down or dress them up. You can yeah. actually wear them if you're going somewhere out. And uh, the clip closure is very, very comfortable. And I love how they sparkle. It's very 80s design in there. I like the way that it looks. I'd say like it's very, like, I'd say it's like, you know, it's like modern in terms of how the yes. logo is positioned. Yeah. To me, it, oh, is it CD? It, it does, it, it does, like, correspond oh, to the CD. Oh, interesting. See? See? To me, it looks like an exaggerated chain. Yes. That has got mm -hmm. crystals on it. But, so um, the condition is very very good there is no tarnish um to the front this is how the back side looks i will try to flip the screen for you and so, all crystals are intact so you were talking about how these were made in germany yes so a lot i've noticed that a lot of like Givenchy and dior were in germany and um, why is it important that this factory made the the, these costume jewellery? So for uh, Dior, um, yeah. the jewellery was uh, made by Henkel and Grosset, mm -hmm. who had, obviously Dior had some collaborations with other artists, but uh, it was solely produced um, by Henkel and Grosset oh. in Germany. And the quality of these items is yeah. just stunning, as you can see. This is the 80s items, because it is signed Christian Dior, Dior Germany. So after, like from 90s, with mass production, are no longer produced in 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 in, in Germany. Oh, oh, I see. Making these quite unusual and rare. Let's have a look yeah. at the price. It is it is very as Ru says, glamorous and timeless. It is a very that's a fantastic glamorous. Price. Like much more expensive. One yeah, yeah. I've, I've honestly there be another I've seen, fifty pounds more. To be like, fair, I've seen this pair selling for four hundred pounds. Wow. Exactly this pair. So the price is one hundred ninety five pounds, which is two hundred thirty nine. US dollars die can appear over here and even though it's vintage I'd say it's very like minimalistic in terms of how the logo is interpreted. Oh, is this how available? Yes. So oh we're nearing to our end of the show. This is a really quite an unusual I can see that could be worn two ways. Yes. It can oh, be. Oh, so. oh yeah I like that. So you can wear it. Can you see the two leaves? crossing over so there's a little hook and eye closure so you can put that over and it's two leaves um uh, overlapping each other you can have that to the front or you can have that to the back so you can have the two beading draped along the front this is a vintage Givenchy design I love the the use of wood um, and gold uh, brushed home metal or you can op wear this uh, necklace open and wear it as a single oh, wow. uh, length. You can even have drape the leaves. So they're asymmetrical on each side. So you've got the two leaves hanging there. It is absolutely stunning. Lots of different um, ways of wearing this. It has a very nice sort of African design to it with the wood and the leaf and, and very sort of um, like a jungle feel to it. And I just like the way of, let me see if I could put that on. So you can wear it doubled up high on the joker. Very elegant. 
a perfect summy, summer time accompaniment. So imagine wearing a, um, a summer dress. Oh, look, I actually put that to the side. And look, you can see the leaves onto the side of the necklace. How stunning this piece is. Everything's you too, Winnie. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing everything. I thought this dress would be too busy, but it seems to suit everything I'm wearing today in terms of jewellery. Or the curation is good, so it'll go with everything you have in your wardrobe. Um, in terms of condition, um, it's got this brushed um, matte gold tone hardware. You can see the sign, uh, Givenchy design um, on the branding on the back. I think this is such a beautiful, beautiful piece, highly collectible. And um, this, the design is quite unique for Givenchy. How come? But I, I love the brushed uh, yeah. leaf detailing. To be exactly. Fair. I like the use of wood and gold. Uh, just really well, fun piece. Well, a thing for Givenchy. I'm sure we have something else Givenchy in leaves. Yes, we did. We did have, we yeah. did have a bracelet and a, bracelet. a necklace. Yeah. So anything sort of like naturistic mm. was quite a good theme. I guess theme. that's why the wood goes well with the leaves. Yes, exactly. So it is absolutely oh, um, pretty loves this. So, so this, uh, what year do you date this? 80s, is early 90s, based on the um, hallmark. On the hallmark. And it does say uh, Paris, New York. So when you see Givenchy, Paris, New York, 80s, they, they are 80s. Early, I'd say like early, early 90s. But the oval one is 70s. Oh, where, where it looks like it's just Givenchy. Yeah, just Givenchy, yeah. So that's a good way of how you can date your pieces. So this stunning necklace is, price is coming up. It is £350, which is, um, I like to feel like wear it like that actually, which is 429 US dollars. If you want to shop this unique piece, all you need to do is just tap on the above icon just there. And someone's asking if you can recap the constants, please. Yes, sure. Let's go back to the constants. Um, so, the constants, um, it is available here. It's currently listed for £6,000. It is a smooth box calf leather in a chocolate. It being, it's almost like a Bourneville dark chocolate colorway and it features gold tone hardware um this is from 1974 so it is a, a true vintage we figured that it's almost 48 years old um lovely condition uh very minimal wear to the back and very minimal wear to the front and there's a uh, very little um uh, there is some light scratches to the hardware, which is to be expected for the age of this bag. And there is hardly any um, wear to the corners of the bag as well. Inside, um, it is nice and clean. It is a size 23. And overall, it is just a lovely, sweet little bag. So let me put this bag um, over the shoulder. So it has a movable leather strap. It is a size 23. You can wear it doubled up or you could wear it over the shoulder. That's how I would wear it. In terms of crossbody, you no, can't no. really wear it crossbody because the, it wasn't really specifically designed for hands-free wear. So the price is £6,000 if you want to shop this. All you need to do is just tap on the icon just above there. Uh, Jackie, are you, you say, can I see the black Hermes shoulder bag again? You mean this I think one? I mean that. I've yes. said that it's yeah. brown. Yeah, so this is actually brown, dark brown. Uh, box calf, gold tone hardware with original 24 karat gold gilding. It is from 1974. Anyway. Anyhow, we've got a couple more pieces left. Let's ask, what shall we show? Yep. We have this. Rachel is already excited. <laughs> she wants Lagerfeld sun ray clips or we have Dior clips like this mm. so which one would you like to see to tell us oh can I see the back pocket on the vintage constants yeah sure no she says she likes the back pocket oh I like see? the back pocket okay. yeah <laughs> Let's do the Dior one. Yeah. Winnie is still in your ones as well. 
Am I, sorry? Still doing your ones as well. My ones? Yeah. With the milky. Yes, oh, so yeah, you yeah, want yeah, this yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> Dior, yes, Ruru Ru asked for Dior. So this is a little bit... <laughs> you had bit... that in your hand, didn't you? Yes, already? I had already. Like, I'll make the decision for you. So this is a little bit different design. So it is an oval, um, oval shaped uh, clip-on earring with a large central crystal and also more smaller, like a tinier crystals around the edges. So in terms of condition, I'd say it's a very good condition. As you can see, this is the back side. There is minimal tarnish on the other side. And the front looks very nice and clean with the tiny hairline scratches maybe to the metal. So original clip closures, both signed Christian Dior Germany, which indicates that they have also been uh, produced in Germany by Henkel and Grosset in um, 1980s. So this is quite disco design, I would say, right? Yeah. This is like a disco ball, quite shiny and very nice. Well, anything glittery is good. Glittery. Yeah. I love glittery. Mm. The more, the better. And Dior clips are very, very comfortable. If you own the pair, you would know that that's true. But you can always add additional comfort pad in here as it has this hole. And then somebody wants like your felt. We'll show the Chanel the, the, yeah. ones. So this is how it looks on the earlobe. I think it's like around two centimeters long, probably. Mm -hmm. Two, maybe and a half. Very comfortable and not very overpowering. And I will flip the screen to show you how they look from the front. So this is how they look. Oh, Cold so plated design, gorgeous. very beautiful. Yeah. It is like, it, the central part does remind me of the disco ball because yeah. how they ref the fr reflect light with movement and this is the other side as you can see so some tarnish on the other side but overall the condition is very good and all crystals are intact so let's have a look at the price when rachel is ready you put one on i'll put the other one yes on. i'm gonna try these one. Oh, if you're they on. are dior is quite comfortable mm. No, very, very nice. They, they suit you. Yeah, I really like these. They're so pretty. Oh, pretty's going, ooh, ooh, <laughs> la la. Yes. Oh, what a fantastic price. I thought there would be a lot more. 195 pounds, which is 239 US dollars. Oh, and really the icon nice. has appeared over here. I like the back plate, it's that like this. It also says Chris and Dior Germany, yeah, by the yeah, way. Yeah, that is cool. So let's quickly show the color. Oh, I'm admiring, and then we'll go on the Chanel. Chanel. So these are by Carlaka. Do you think it's the same era as the apostrophe? Uh, I think uh, it's 90s. I think this is like a 90s. Oh, so this design. is slightly later then. This is gorgeous. It's almost like a sunburst design. A uh, large disc. This is a really large disc. This is almost like two, two and a bit. Uh, inches this wide. Is, yes, this are this are quite um, a statement size. Statement size. Maybe they are eighties. It's five five centimeters wide, which is which is two inches. Yeah, two inches wide. Uh, look, they look like eyes. Do I look like I've got eyes? <laughs> <laughs> so um, beautiful brush gold tone hardware with this beautiful sort of sundial design, and it has this lovely appel enamel glass for uh, faux. Uh, it is like a Roman shield. Yes, this yeah. is what I wanted to say. It like is a like a centurion's shield. shield. You're so right, Tam. And um, it has this little pearl detail. And um, it is... Oh, that's so pretty. It is signed KL at the back. So another thing uh, yeah. about Karl Lagerfeld jewellery. So you know Karl he always used to wear a fan. Oh. So if you see his... If you, if you oh, were looking right. to identify the... Um, Authentic vintage uh, Karl Lagerfeld jewelry. It should have the fan detailing in here. Yeah. Like it will have his logo and then the fan detailing. On Which, you can, whenever he's, uh, and he's got the shades and yes. he's like this, isn't he? It's so this awesome. is this is this will be seen on most of his jewelry as a as a fan logo. Oh, let me just put on the other pair. They are stunning. This. Really, everything like looks so good. On you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh uh, well, it's just very good curation. That's just looked good on me. Uh, I think these are absolutes, and they feel really, really comfortable. 
really a quite statement very oh, statement piece yeah very unusual I, I actually wear this every day it's actually you yes, know because we enough. do we do wear our vintage jewelry yes. regardless of the size exactly so yes so let's just show the fan detail again can you see the fan which is signature of Karl Lagerfeld and that is the back plate of the clip-on earrings these earrings are 300 no not at all actually I don't find them heavy I feel they're very comfortable on they feel they've got a nice security on them that like it's not so light where you're worried that they're going to fall off um, so it does feel strong and secure and very comfortable on um, condition is excellent excellent I can't see any guild uh, loss of gilding or tarnish and these are only 355 pounds which is 400 and 35 US dollars. So there. let's do the Chanel ones. Let's do the Chanel here. Maybe we'll fit in one more item and then we will do a quick recap. If anyone wants us to show us uh, new items again, we can do. We've got this amazing piece. I oh, just look how they are like you know what we've ended on both Karl Lagerfeld designs. Can you see his inspiration now? This is Karl Lagerfeld for Chanel, they're almost the same size, aren't they? Yes. Maybe yes, a little bit bigger. Uh, comes with this original box, and I love these it. are absolutely oh yes, the Carl Lagerfeld facelift because <laughs> they do make you feel like you're a lot younger and brings shine to your face. These are beautiful, I aren't they? This, this are is a collectible item. Definitely, it has this almost like a, a milky or opal style stone. It's not. I think it's just a glass. It's not real opal, is it? No. no. I'm looking at that. Yeah. It's, it's a resin. resin. It's, it's resin. resin. Sorry. And it has all these little tiny stars. What I like about this is not obvious Chanel. If you are a Chanel collector, you will know these are Chanel. But the fact that it has a lack of logos is like one of those you know, you know pieces. Um, it has these surrounded by these original crystals. And inside the star crystals, there are these tiny little seed crystals intact as well they are absolutely beautiful this is another highly collectible collection from collection 23 this first collection from, from victor de castellan yeah. um, and 90s that's 1990s and they feel really comfortable on that's how they look on me uh, they wow. are absolutely stunning can you imagine this with the Asian dress? Yeah! I need to wear a Chinese dress, Chong, Chinese. Ch uh, a Cheng Sam, it's called. Um, and I would... Oh, I'll look like a, a 1950s uh, <laughs> Chinese actress. That's very specific. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what I, you can tell we need to go home and have dinner. Oh. One chocolate is not enough. How about two? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So this uh, pretty is saying everything in this drop is so beautiful. Loving today's drop. Thank oh, you thank so you, much. thank you. We enjoy putting them together, don't we? Yes, these we shows. Do. So the price of these amazing piece is one thousand two hundred pounds. Let me quickly do a flip the screen because I really want to showcase. Yes, the, the they, they really deserve. Is, is just how is it a moonstone, something like this? yeah, a moonstone. Very just beautiful. absolutely. Absolutely stunning. Really, really highly collectible. We I know one collector who has this pair. Oh, really? Yes. Is it the one that we know? No, you, you know her too, but it's not the one that we know. Oh, it's probably Kristen. She has everything. No. <laughs> Kristen? Yeah. Do you have this? Yeah, probably. She has everything I like. Uh, so, if you want to shop this piece, it is available there. That's the icon just there. And these are in excellent condition. And they do come their Chanel box. Yes, yeah, all their original box as well. So we're now nearing to the end of the show. Is there anything? Yes, oh, let's just do, show, do this yeah, one we'll and do, that's it. Yeah, so end on Dior because uh, we've really appreciated a vintage uh, Dior jewellery shop. We love the Chanel, but there's something really unique. For me, actually, I really enjoyed looking at the La Croix pieces earlier on. So, um, and also those beautiful, you can still available to purchase um, the Dior earrings here, which is £195. So, just to um, end, we have this lovely um, a PVC sort of like canvas treated, um, almost like a wallet on chain, vintage 80s style um, a Dior bag. Features a movable gold chain. 
and it is quite a large substantial size this is good, probably a good 10 inches across i think it looks like 11 probably 10 or 11 uh, 11 inches. 11 inches. 28 centimeters. So it's quite a good, decent size. Um, it has this a Dior logo on the uh, on the uh, embossed logo with a Dior gold tone um, pressed on hardware. It only uh, is finished with a leather black trim, some light wear to the corners. The overall, the bottom is nice and clean, and the back has no scratches. And it is nice and clean. So this could be worn a multitude of ways. You can tuck in the strap. And this makes a great day clutch. Or you can pop open the strap. And um, it is a movable strap, actually. And you can wear this as a crossbody style bag. Very practical. Actually, very comfortable. Length. Very comfortable, yeah. Single strap along the shoulder, if you want a shoulder st style, or if you want bit, something a bit closer, you can double up the strap and wear it over the shoulder that way, so it's a shorter length. So there's like four different ways uh, in one bag. And inside it is nice and clean. It has an additional internal pocket as well. And it has the Christian Dior Made in France logo heat, um, stamping. And it has a little handy little love secret love pot compartment as well underneath the, the flap of the bag. It's a pressed up opening, uh, push lock, and it is uh, closes nice and clean and secure. And the gold tone hardware is excellent with no loss of tarnish. And the price of this sun piece, which is just coming up. Uh, nice vintage Dior bag, thank you. Uh, rating out of 10, would you give the Chanel belt, ladies? Also, what so size would it fit? Uh, Bo, I would say it's a good 7 out of 10. So it's a good seven, yeah, yes. it's a good. It's been used, but it's generally a good condition. Size is 36 inches or 90 centimeters, so it does have like adjustable yes. um, length. length. Uh, uh, um, yeah, I'm a size UK 12 and okay. it fitted. I wrote on the minimum, yeah. like on the minimum. Of, There's lots um, of room. I reckon it can go up to you can do. I think you can do additional. Like yeah. if you go to professional, uh, they will make additional holes if you need one. Yeah, I think it can even go up to a 14 very easily. So very lo lots of um, tolerance in sizing, you could say. So that Dior PVC bag is only £350, which is £429. US dollars. Right, we're now at the end of the show. If you want to recap anything, give you've got about five minutes. There is a handbag icon just here. Um, you can see what we have featured so far and see what's available to purchase. And um, can you see the bottom picture, or is it not working for you? It's not well, working for us. It's not uh, working. But assume that when you tap on it, yes, sometimes. I notice that when I moderate, sometimes I tap on it and it's fine. Mm -hmm. Don't know why that does that. So, yeah. So, uh, let us know if you want to see uh, anything very quickly. Uh, uh, but we've really enjoyed the show. I think yeah. those... It's been... You those really was like, one. yes. Yes. Interesting so pieces. Yes. Uh, a lot of variety. And I think it's nice to see Chanel, but we also had... I love those Lacroix pieces. Do it's nice to have a mix of different vintage mm. uh, jewelry designers. Yeah, exactly. So I think who's on tonight? I think tonight uh, we've got uh, Isabel at 10 p.m. Uh, British summertime. It's going to be on Instagram. Oh, is it on Instagram only? So. And it's going to be the gold edit uh, where she'll be featuring uh, more vintage Chanel jewelry and other bits. And oh, somebody wants to see. Um, Yes. Okay. So, um, jewelry case. Uh, I think it's the uh, lambskin leather, yeah. which has a uh, gold finish. So overall, we'd say it's a very good condition. It has some, as you can see, light scratches on the bottom, but nothing too deep. So overall, the uh, body of this jewelry case is nice and clean, and also the top side. It still has its medallion on the zip closure. And uh, the zipper works just fine. So it opens to a black, um, like velvety suede lining, and it does have the divider in. 
it does have this um what is it like string or something yeah. to, to put your rings uh, yeah on. we established claw That's that if you actually you can loop your rings there and stack them all and up you have a like pin this. a pin um in here you can attach this Mm -hmm. uh, to the bag, uh, to the jewelry case uh, from the inside, so you won't, won't lose it. It does come with the uh, serial sticker and its card attached, and this is 94 to 96, yes. it's free series. Three series. And then you've got this lovely divider signed Chanel. So it's a very nice and handy piece, especially if you're traveling a lot, it will be very nice to store your jewelry in here. And because of the dividers and the additional uh, thing to put your rings on, they wouldn't rub against each other. Mm. It's a good way of organizing and separating. And I think piece. it was four inches uh, yeah. wide. Mm -hmm. So this is available. And um, how much was it? Something around 400 less, something? Even less than 500. Yeah, it's like 465, I, I think. think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 465 pounds. There it is. The icon is just there. So, yes. Uh, we are going to call it a night. Uh, we thoroughly enjoyed it. I love doing these Monday shows with you guys and with you, the audience. And Thank we you so will much be for back joining. tomorrow with uh, from 5 p.m. British summertime with is it Grace with box fresh items? Grace and then Sabrina. Probably. And then yeah. yes. And then we are back on Friday. Date in the diary Friday is going to oh, be an yes. amazing. It's going to be epic. It's going to be epic. If you are a collector, you love Claudia Schiffer, Naomi Campbell, anything Barbie collection, anything runway, 95, 95 anything you have to watch the show. We have the most mm -hmm. rarest mm -hmm. pieces coming up How on Friday. How long it took us? I think it's like six so, months or so yes. to, to curate and to gather all those pieces from around the we world. We also did our research. Let me just grab a magazine. This is the inspiration. No, Winnie, we don't Let's have the magazine. Yeah. We don't have it. Sabrina has it. Let me just show one image. I think We've got two, right? Oh, we have. I think it was this one, the one. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. So Winnie showed this brush. Uh, Matt, so, this one in its own Chanel box, and we also had a sunburst. If Rachel, you could pin both I'm of them. So this is the sunburst. Um, the condition on the front is very, very good, but on the back side there is some tarnish to the um, to the pin needle and also uh, to uh, the back side of the brush. But overall, the condition is very good, especially on the front. Also comes in its um, original oh, Chanel. Yes. I Chanel. can't believe that's still available. That's less than five hundred pounds. One day when it's worth one day. <laughs> And this one also excellent condition, as you can see, signed Chanel and numbered from the 80s and excellent condition on the back side as well. So uh, yes, we're yes. coming back on Friday with our long curated uh, Get the drop. pieces in, get the Prosecco in. Get the bank cards, get the <laughs> cards, <laughs> yes. husband's cards. Make sure the kids are in bed or someone else's responsibility. We will be your entertainment for the next three hours oh, on I can't Friday. Wait. So thank what you very much. Start? 7 p.m. And I get to moderate. So do we I get a yeah. Prosecco as well? Huh? Do we get a Prosecco as well? Of course, I'm getting pizza and wine for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it the first time I'm hearing this? <laughs> this will be a party. <laughs> So, have you been at the chocolate again? So, no, they are only the chocolate. <laughs> they only left me one. I, I took only one. <laughs> All right then, Thank bye you guys. guys. Thank have you. a lovely week. See you on Friday. See you Friday. Bye. bye.